is that even? Right, how the heck am I gonna get out of this now? What have I done to deserve this? This is a situation and a half. How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, if you can tell from the title, I'm gonna be doing yet another I spent some money on uh an online website yet again. Last time we did ASOS, you guys really seem to like that video, so I'm gonna do another one. I'm doing Fashion Nova this time. Now, Fashion Nova, let me tell you something about Fashion Nova. I've been seeing it all over the internet, like Kylie Jenner wears Fashion Nova, like all these bloggers wear Fashion Nova. So I just wanna see what the deal is. I wanna know, is it good quality? Is it a scam? Is it like, you know, affordable? That kind of thing. So <laughs> basically I spent 700 pounds. Again, how? How did this happen? In my defense, I am just gonna say that it was just way too easy to add click to cart, click to cart, click to cart. But let's be honest, that's not a good enough excuse. I'm just gonna be like seeing what I like. Maybe if I like anything, I'll keep it. But majority of this is definitely going buh back. Ain't nobody got that 700 pounds to spend on clothes. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up just down below. Leave me a comment. How was your day? Just just talk to me, okay? And also, if you guys are brand new, please come and join the dinosaur family by subscribing below. And also, whilst you're there, don't forget to click the notification bell button. But without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, so I have my box right here. It is blimming heavy, like heavier than the ASOS box. <sighs> so it should take it up most of the screen right now. But basically, everything came in the one box, as you can see. Um, I actually was really surprised at how quickly this came. It only took like a week, maybe a week and a half for this to arrive, and considering it was coming from America, that's pretty good. Now, I didn't actually have to pay any customs for this, which is obviously really, really good. I did not want to spend even more money on top of the 700 that I paid. So, so far, my experience with that was all right didn't have any problems. Now, I am literally so eager to just crack this bad boy open and try things on, so let's do it. Okay, so the first thing I have here is this camo, like, cord playset. Don't really know what this is. Ooh, okay. So it's like a skirt, a camo skirt, and then like a camo bardo off the shoulder sleeve. These bardo sleeves are really wide. What the heck? Is this gonna even fit me? Okay, so this is what it looks like on. I am actually really, really digging this. So this was actually $30 on the website. Now, I don't know if this is worth $30 because the quality of the material is quite cheap. It's quite thin, um, but luckily it's not sheer, so that's really good. I honestly thought this would be really huge on me because did you guys see how wide those like arms were? But honestly, I really like this little set. It fits really snug. It's giving me some curves, which I don't usually have. This is a good start, guys. This is a good start. Okay, so this is the next item. This is like a perfect sweater top. That's what it's called on the website. This was actually $20, which again, isn't too bad. This is the type of thing that you'd get on like ASOS or New Look, Topshop, those kind of places. But I do really like it. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a rib. I've actually just tucked this into the skirt and I feel like that makes a really cool outfit too. Now, the next item I have is a two piece piece like hoodie set and joggers. So this is like a cold two piece sort of situation. This is actually a set that Kylie Jenner wore herself. So when I saw this online, I was like, this looks really good on her. I have no idea if it's gonna look the same on me, but we will see. Okay guys, this is a situation and a half. Like I can't even get it on. It's so blimming tight. There's like a string inside the bottom of the hoodie where I try and put it over my shoulders. It really, really hurts. Okay, I'm in. Woo! Okay, so this is what the set looks like on me. Does it look good? I don't really know. I mean, it looks nowhere near as good as it did on Kylie, let's be honest, but I actually don't think it looks too bad. I don't know, I mean, I'm not mad at it. It could be, no, actually, actually, I actually really like it. You know, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. <laughs> so as you can see, it's got a hoodie on the back, which let's be honest, I'm never gonna use because what is that, even? I really like this set. I think it would look really cool for the gym, but it probably is a little bit too thick. Like the material is quite warm. And how much was this set? So the bottoms and the hoodie were actually separate. They were 20 pounds for the hoodie and 20 pounds for the pants. Now, that's kind of overpriced if you ask me. Like, this is half a hoodie. Like, it's not even a full hoodie. Why would you charge $20 for this? This thing honestly should have been like 10, 
$10. And then this may be $15, but not $20 for both. Nah. -uh. Okay, so the next thing I have here is a crew neck mustard crop top and some jeans. Now, Fashion Nova is known for their jeans, which are meant to fit like curvy people. Now, I'm not saying I'm curvy, but my waist is quite small compared to my hips. So I always struggle getting like trousers that fit my actual waist. So we will see. I mean, I kind of love it. I'm really gonna have trouble trying to figure out what I'm gonna send back because I really like this top. Like it's very loose, it's very flowy. The material is kind of on the cheapish side, I'm not gonna lie, but I really like how oversized it is and how lightweight it is as well. Now for the trousers, look at that. Look at that. Actually, these jeans are probably the best jeans I have ever tried. They're really cinched in at the waist, as you can see, which I am living for. Whenever I get trousers, there's always so much loose material at the back. Now with these, there's none of that, honey. So I am in love with the jeans. I would 100% recommend them. The next thing I wanna try on is something a little bit more bougie. It's a dress. Um, I saw this and I just thought, what the heck is this <laughs> kind of thing? So I have really am um, kind of nervous to try this because I have no idea if it's gonna suit me. This is the actual dress though. What? What? How am I ever gonna pull this off? Okay guys, I mean, this was $60. I'm not gonna show you guys too much, but you can see my backside. I have never felt more exposed. I'm trying to like cover my privates right now. But look at this, you can see my underwear underneath it. I'm getting a wedgie right now. I feel like I'm wearing a thong. I mean, the top half and the idea of it is really pretty. Like I love this top section. It's very, very pretty, but it's just a bit too much. And this was $60 for a bit of strap for this. I'm now gonna try on the Eternal Love Bandage Set in purple. I actually cannot breathe in this. Now this is a size small, so I'm a size small in almost everything. And this was so blimming difficult to get on. Now, I mean, it is very tight. It's giving me them curves, which like I always say, I don't have any curves, guys, but it's kind of making curves somewhere. I have no clue why it's so tight, but apart from that, I quite like the shape. I don't really like the color too much. Right, how the heck am I gonna get out of this now? I can't actually get out of this, guys. What have I done to deserve this? Okay, so the next thing is this little play set. It's kind of like a grid sort of pattern. It goes all the way down and it's quite flared on the bottoms. Um, I don't really know how I feel about this. I mean, I guess it looks okay. I just wish it was a little bit tighter around the waist because it kind of just flops a little bit like that. I like how, I like the fact that it's got a thick waistband and also that it's got a zip so it's quite easy to get into, unlike the previous dress. The fabric feels quite nice, but how much was this though? This was 45 pounds. 45 pounds for this. I'm sorry. That's kind of overpriced. Is that just me? I think it's a bit overpriced. So this is the next outfit. Now this cropped jumper was 20 pounds. It just says New York City extra extra large. I actually really like the jumper. I think it's really cute. The fabric feels a little bit weird. It's not the type of fabric you'd actually expect this jumper to be. Um, it's kind of like a fleecy sort of material, like very thin, but it's quite fleecy. Now this cost me 20 pounds, which I guess isn't too bad. These shorts that I'm wearing are kind of a joke. <laughs> like, they literally look nothing like they did on the model on me. Um, they're very long, like literally, my crotch is here and then this is how long they are, like that long. Personally, I would go for something a little bit shorter, just because I feel like it looks a bit more flattering on the leg. And these were $35, which I feel like is quite expensive for shorts that don't really look like what you thought they'd be. Now, I also have this leather jacket from Fashion Nova that I just opened, and let's try it on. I have a feeling this might be a bit too small. Maybe I should have got a larger size. Okay, it's not so bad actually. It actually fits pretty well. I love the fraying and the rips and all that. Like it's got really nice spraying around the cuffs of the arms. Now I have another pair of jeans to try out because I really loved 
the other pair. I was like, okay, I'm going to grab another pair just to see. And they're really cinched in at the waist, so I can tell I'm already going to love them. Guys, Fashion Nova jeans right now. Oh my god, they actually stole my heart. They're really like nice and thick too, so you don't get that line of like your underwear back here. So I really like them. These were again at £35, so I guess that's like an okay price to pay considering you pay £30 at Topshop, I think, for like Joni jeans. The next thing I have is this very sparkly crop top. Whew. Wow, okay. Will I be able to pull this off? Who knows, but let's try it on. Ooh, it's very scratchy to put on. Ow, 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 I'm not gonna lie to you guys. That was hella painful. Oh my God. But I really like this top. I think it's really cute. It's very like scratchy around my neck. I honestly have no idea how I could physically wear this out because I would just be in agony the whole time. Okay, so this is the next outfit. Honestly, I'm holding my hands over my chest because I just feel way too exposed right now. Like. It's actually quite cute if it was a little bit more covering, but you can see all kinds of cleavage and it's just like everywhere. It's a mess. Now, the trousers are a little bit sheer, like you can see my underwear underneath. I'm not really about that sheer trouser business, um, but it's quite an interesting like little combo. I mean, the trousers are really cool because they've got these like huge, huge zippers. Um, but I don't know, the top I thought was really pretty and I loved it on the model, but on myself, I just feel like it's a tad too revealing. But I do still think it's really pretty, so maybe for someone who's a little bit more daring, you could totally rock this. So this is the next item of clothing. Now, <laughs> this dress is so extra. It kind of doesn't go down all the way to the floor, which is kind of weird, but at the same time, it's quite cool because then you can see your shoes if you wore this dress. This is what it looks like up close. I think it's really pretty, like super, super pretty. If I ever had any like, fancy event to go to i would totally rock this dress now the price it was 50 pounds i guess that's fair i mean it is really nice and glittery and really there's a lot of detail to it so i guess 50 pounds is an okay price to pay for this sort of dress now if you really like this dress but you felt like the length was a bit too long it does literally go all the way down to the floor you could always opt for something like this um so they have pretty much the same dress but in a short version. This is the second option. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with this dress because I love, love the design of it. It's so beautiful. It's kind of like meshy and sheer. You can see a little bit of my bra, so I'd probably have to wear a nude bra underneath, but it's so pretty. The only thing is, it is so bloody scratchy. Like, so scratchy, I can't even bear it right now. But it's such a shame because I love the dress. It is actually the most beautiful dress I have ever seen. Damn it, why have you gotta be made of sequins? Now the next thing I'm gonna try is a matching knit set. So this is the Sonja crop top and these are the Sonja knit leggings. I feel like the set has like a double sort of purpose. It could totally be worn as like a bougie, going out sort of effortless set. And then it could also be worn as like a loungy set because it's just so comfortable. Like the fabric is really stretchy. I'm actually really liking this set. I'm definitely gonna keep this. And this is the very last thing I'm gonna try on. Ooh, it's gonna match my lipstick. This is like a ruched kind of dress. This is what it looks like. I think this is so like classic and really like romantic. So I'm gonna try this on and see if it looks any good on me. So this is the dress on. I don't really know how I feel about it. Do I I like it? Do I not like it? Hmm. I guess it's okay. What I love about Fashion Nova clothing is that everything kind of cinches you in at the waist and just gives you shape, even if you don't have it. I feel like this is a really nice dress for like a red carpet event or just any kind of event. I mean, will I keep this? Probably not, because I feel like it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. It's a little bit too daring, but as a concept, I really like it and I totally really like this on someone else as well. So that was all for my Fashion Nova try on haul. Let me know what you guys thought. My thoughts, I feel like you guys Guys already know my thoughts from throughout this video but I just want to say I'm actually pleasantly surprised like there was quite a few things that I actually really liked there was some things that I was a bit like Meh. but you know that's like with any website really like when I went on ASOS which I love ASOS most of the time and I bought things that I wouldn't usually kind of go for there was a lot of mishaps there <laughs> but that's not to say that the brand is bad you know it's just like one of those things you definitely also have to be a bit careful with the sizing definitely make sure that on every item you buy there's like you know the size chart and you check it out and see what size you should be buying but apart from that I actually really enjoyed my experience with Fashion Nova I wouldn't really say anything 
anything too bad about it. So as a result of this video, I think Fashion Nova deserves a thumbs up, to be honest. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you suggest other like fashion online brands that you'd like me to try out next, like She Inside or Romwe or whatever else there is. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up and also, you know, click the notification bell down below. It helps me out a lot and it just means that you guys stay notified of every time I post a new video. But that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!